So I've only got a couple minutes here because low rider is what? Two minutes and 53 seconds long, so we've just wasted three minutes. But I'd like to talk to you real quick about a couple of harmonicas. The one I was playing there was in D flat. That's a Suzuki Harpmaster. And I'd like to zoom in on this for just a second so you can see what it looks like, the case, that is. The Harpmaster makes playing harmonicas fun again, dude. And they're cheap. These little guys, the Harpmaster, are built very much like another harmonica, so much so that I hear tell, of course it's on the internet, I've heard it, I don't know if it's true, but I hear tell that these little guys, the Bushman Delta Frost, uh, has the same shape of reed plates, same holes lined up. You can actually get Bushman reeds, which are made of bronze phosphor, throw them in a harp master, and probably put together a harp for about the same, same price, if not cheaper than an actual Bushman. But the Bushmans are cool too, they play a lot like it. Here's a little bit of high low rider for you. Let me zoom back out and we'll leave you with that because we've got to keep the video short. As I said in my first video, one of the first things you got to learn on YouTube is keep them damn videos short. People get pissed off, they don't want to watch too much stuff and they're going to comment negatively unless you really hit on something really quick. You know, I don't want to watch a bunch of tangible stuff like I'm talking right now. So here's a little bit of a uh, harp playing on, in, on a Delta Frost. <whistles> Woo, baby, that's high. Had it upside down. Guess I'm trying to play a little bit like, uh, well, I won't name any names. Wow, the baby squawks high. That's a high G. I have two harmonicas that are, uh, you know, in the same style. If you look at the the way the covers are shaped, the way the reed plates are recessed. They're set down in, they're not only recessed behind or back into the comb in such a way, but they're actually set down in there for a lot of air tightness. It's what makes these harps bend like a gem. I mean, you ever hear a high harp that can bend like that? It's kind of rare. It's Delta Frost, baby. Now, Bushman, interesting company. We won't get into any of all that right now. I recommend you go out and look them up and just read about them. Why talk about something? Why reinvent the mouse wheel? Or reinvent the mouse trap, wheel, trap, whatever. I have a Lee Oscar harp right here, and I'm going to quack you out just a little bit in it in D flat. Excuse me, in um, B flat. And the reason that I own this Lee Oscar harp is because I read, again, somewhere out on the internet, I don't know if it's true, but I read that Saunders Terrell, we know him as Sonny Terry, actually. Uh, either listened to or, or, or hooked up or whatever with Lee Oscar before his death and he switched from a Honer Marine Band in his favorite key of B flat to trying out the Lee Oscar in B flat. So a Lee Oscar in B flat to me is kind of like a Sunny Terry harp because it's going to last longer than a B flat Marine Band. <laughs> That was for a friend of mine who asked me to harp something out, you know, quack something out in B flat. It's not really a song, my friend, my harp, harp, <coughs> my microphone friend, but uh, you asked me to play some octaves, so on a B flat. So here it is. <laughs> With that, I'll leave you, and I'll say this is my favorite shirt. And oh, one more thing is a requirement. Now, I didn't play a whole lot of blues there, but I did mention that the hat's a requirement. At least it was in the vicinity, and so was the dog. Hi, Yuki. Poor guy. I just woke him up from a nap. Yuki wants to say goodbye to everybody. 
with a little bit off the heart master. Dookie wants to say goodbye. Hey, but he'll see you another time. Goodbye. Where the heck is my remote?